Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're going to be going back onto the Stinger Mantis. So I'm going to be finishing off the sort of the feet and the side section. I'm also bringing it back further a little bit more. So as you can see that's what I'm doing here. Now as you may be aware this for this build I haven't really posted as much as I should have been. Where I've only been doing it sort of two, since two weeks ago. And I've been uploading other sort of videos like how to build the Batmobile, how to build Bumblebee and how to make Brian Silver Nissan in GTA. And if you have been enjoying those videos, then I'd definitely like to see you leaving a like and then telling me if you have been enjoying them. But then also I want you to tell me if you've been enjoying these Minecraft videos because I sort of left a little bit of a gap to see if I'd get sort of improvement on the other videos or not. And I haven't been getting as many views on this sort of video, so it would be awesome if you guys could definitely check it out and shout out to your friends. I'll leave a link down below for you to share and it would mean a lot. So carrying on from what I was saying earlier is that this is what it should like look like once you've started extending it out and then up above that that's where I'm going to build the fin bit. As you can see here it's not as far as I'd like it to be so I'm just extending out these sort of darker grey blocks and then I can further extend out the blue bit here so as you can see I'm just changing that out and then I'm going to bring the blue blocks along further and then extend out the shulker blocks. Now, as you may be aware, I haven't uploaded as many videos lately, and that's because I've been trying to make some more builds on Minecraft, some different things on GTA, and I've just sort of been trying to find some different things for me to show you guys, and so you can see what to do. And because I'm trying to make some more how-tos and stuff, but I haven't had time to film them, but I've definitely had a lot of time to sort of make these builds, and they're all ready to be filmed though, so just stick around and you'll see them coming soon. So I've placed these sort of grey blocks underneath so I can just sort of build the shulker boxes up above it because I know for a fact that whenever you touch the shulker boxes they just open up and it is kind of annoying and I probably just said a totally obvious statement there but yeah that's what I had to do. So then I'm bringing the blue out further down here so you can see it extending out and then you can see I'm coming up here which is going to end up having the fin coming up above it. So I'm using the shulker boxes at the bottom to sort of add a bit of shadow in as well because I thought it would contrast a little bit differently to this blue I'm using here and also I didn't want it to just be plain blue and boring because when you actually look at the ship it's got different patterns and stuff on it. Then coming on to the bit here after that is just sort of the overall ship. This is what it looks like so far and I'm really liking how it's going with the blue and the yellow. It really works. On the other side it's not the same but what I'm trying to do is close this up and on the other side I have it open which is the sort of the leg bit coming out where you can walk down on the platform but it opens up either side but I don't want this side open I'm just having that one open so I'm gonna have it open for now but I might end up closing it because I'm gonna either put it in fly mode or landing so we'll see what I want to do after but I am putting the landing gear on so I want to try and have a look at what that looks like because that's what the video is about so this is sort of me closing it up and that's what it should look like once it's closed and I'm just going to add in the bottom layer underneath, which is sort of the contrast between the other colours, which I've been doing for the shulker boxes. So you can see here now I'm trying to build the feet, so I'm just trying to get in the centre, and then I'll bring it down all the way to the bottom. The first part of the foot coming down is up at the other end, and then this will be like the lower end, and what I'll do is I'll attach it to either side. And then this, you can see here, is part of the landing gear of the foot. You can see like the spring sort of come down and I'm going to connect that to uh, some other couple of pieces and I'm not going to connect it right to the ground because I wasn't sure how far I'd come down but if so I'll just build the ground below it at some point if I have to. As you can see I have further extended it out with the slabs and then what I've done here is I've done sort of what are they called I think they're chains and I've dropped them down there so they're sort of the, sort of the extension of the landing gear at the back. I'm just going to bring it up all the way, sloping it up, and then we're going to carry it on all the way to the end. And then we're going to make it look like it can retract in and out by leaving a gap in it, which I'll do in the next part. So now you can see once I fully extended it up, I started bringing the slabs around, which means the foot can retract in and up, which is leaving a gap either side. But I'm just going to fill that over so you can't actually see in and up into the ship. So then what I'm going to do from there is I'm just going to bring these slabs underneath and this is just going to create the flooring for the mantis and then if I need to carry on building above it then I'll change it on the inside after that. Now you can see here the whole floor is literally just covered in these slabs 
And you can see I've missed out a couple spots, but I'll just go back and fill those in, as you can see here. But then this is what the overall sort of flooring is going to look like inside. But then also I'm going to change it up once I start doing the interior as well. Once I start looking at the game from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and I start comparing it between mine and the game. On this part here, I'm just sort of extending it out. And this is a side bit, which comes after the blue part. And then that's just going to be where the feet extends out either side of it from the left and the right. The underneath bit I've already pretty much done. So now I just have to do those two parts. As well as that, I'm also then trying to bring it above the top, which is then going to connect to the fin. So it's all sort of leading it up, bringing it up to a peak point where the fin can just lead all the way up to the top and stretch out. So it's all sort of averaging up, as you can see, along the bit I was just doing up there to the top left. As you can see here, now I'm just bringing it up. Now it would be a great help as well if you could leave a comment down below telling me what sort of things you want to see on my how to videos as well. Because even though this isn't a how to video, I want to start making some more of those, whether to make more. I want to start making some statues and I've seen quite a lot of people do those and they're quite cool. And they look like the sort of avatar you play as either um, the main sort of skins you have. And it's just sort of follows the design of those and I've definitely made a... Time Force Power Ranger one of those and it turned out pretty good and I'm trying to make a Dino Thunder one and if you guys are interested in that then that'd be awesome if you could leave a comment down below but if you want to see any other characters from anything like Batman, Flash, Superman or from any film just leave a comment down below to check it out and also if you haven't already please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe I'm still carrying on the video it just would help if you could do that now before the video ends at some point here, I do believe I did make a mistake, so please bear with me with that if you are copying along, but don't stress, it's the same sort of pattern, it's just either one or two back or forth. And if you are following along, then definitely leave a comment about that as well, telling me how you're going. This wasn't intentionally a how-to video, but I did want to sort of make it, see what you guys were doing, and if you're making anything similar, or if you're doing a different colour design to my one. And just remember as well, if you are following along, there might be a couple of things that I've missed out or lost the video for. I'm trying to get everything in, but if you haven't, just sort of try and make it your own design or whatever. As you can see here, this is what it looks like so far. And you can sort of change it up, use your own ideas. You don't have to copy it exactly, and that's why I'm not making it a how-to video. So if you do want to check out my how-to videos, then I've got a playlist left in the link down below. So definitely check those out. But from here... You sort of see like the exposed wires sort of thing, so I want to add levers and buttons and different things here to make it look like the wires or all other parts here are exposed. And then from there I'm just going to bring it out with the greyish blocks and then you can see here I'm just bringing it out and I did lose the footage for the ending bit so I'm just going to leave some photos on which you can copy from but this is the sort of basic design which I'm going to use bringing it out. And I thought it was a bit chunky at one point, so then I did change it afterwards, and that's the footage I did lose. So then I've got the photos here coming up, so just take a look at those now. So this is the final bit here. You can just see where I've changed it, and then we'll go round it on the next video for you guys to see. But I'm glad to be back, I'm glad to be making more videos. It's been a few weeks, so if you haven't already, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.